Hey guys, so I recreated this bronze coppery golden look that I saw Shen XO wear in one of her recent videos, the same great video with me. So, sign up to be a Western bake, obviously under my eye, but leave with my nose baked there while there it is. Then I'm taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, and obviously gonna be priming my eyes with this, and blend that in with my Ruth and X brush. So then I'm setting that over with some of my Beerwise powder and my Flawless Finish Sponge because it takes up a wider area of the eye so it sets it instantly. So this is my inspiration look from Shannon XO or Shannon Harris either way. So it's what I will be going by. So I have a shot of her looking down and looking up so I can get two good angles. So the main star of the show is going to be the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm then taking this uh, raw skin I think that was as my main mid tone and also just putting it up into my crease. Then taking possibly the darkest shade, I'm not too sure the name, but it is the Bournemouth Brown Tone. I'm placing this into my lid and sort of just under where the first shade is, just so that the orange shade, um, once the brown shade is blended out, the orange shade is still sticks out of the um, colour of the transition. So for both eyes, there. So then taking the same dark shade and adding even more depth to my outer V, because I want that to be the darkest part, whilst I will eventually make my inner corner the lightest part. But until I'm just blending it out, so now taking um, that's raw sand again and using my pencil brush just to trace out my lash line. So now going back into that darker shade again, I place this under my lash line just to bounce everything out. And yes, not gonna lie, I did have to refer back to the video repetitively just to remember what to do, which steps to take, etc. So now taking um, Irresistible from Nikki Tutorials as my first gold shade. And of course, use my finger. So now I'm taking the lighter shade from the Modern Renaissance palette and attempting to make this even lighter than what it was and already a bit more metallic. So then I decided just to spritz down my brush and add the same shade from the Modern Renaissance palette just to see if I can make it even more foil and metallic um, with the wet brush. And then adding the same shade to my inner tree duct. So now taking the lighter shade in the palette all and using that as my brown brown, using that as my brow highlight, you know what I meant. So taking my Essence Liner, it's a flimsy tip but it's also a precision pen so it's best of both worlds for those who don't really like a stiff tip but also for those who do like a precision pen. I'm obviously lining my eyes and doing a relatively dramatic wing but not too dramatic because I have half hearted eyes. So already having tested this out my other eye off camera, I then took Rich Bitch from Jeffree Star Palette, the pretty killer, and placed this into my inner half palette again just to brighten up some more. Then taking some of Wanted and my lip divider brush which hot iron my eyes. I do also take this on my lower lash lines as well to line pretty much everywhere. But at this point I'm using my pencil uh yeah, my pencil brush. And so now I do go back to um my lip divider brush just to make it more intense. So now for some lashes, I'm taking the Brave. Which is the fourth one down from the Party Stack palette, and obviously sticking this on my eyelid. Well, lash line. So now taking my Better Front Roll Lash, the mini one, I'll eventually upgrade to the big one. And I'll do them in eventually. I'm obviously just covering up my lashes, the top one mostly just to um, shade them in, but then the bottom ones to make them more dramatic. So I did decide to take this shimmery pink tone from the Modern Renaissance palette with a pencil brush and put this in my inner corner as um, a topper for a inner corner heart. Then just sweeping away the nose bag finally. Now getting on with the rest of the face, I'm taking my AC on top palette and the middle shade, which has got great undertones, so it's good for contouring. I am contouring my cheekbones with my bronzer brush from Exit Beauty. Well, I think it's actually a contour brush, but it can be used for both. So my cheekbones, my temples, and my jawline. And then I'm taking this bottom right bronzer shade to obviously bronze up my skin. So as usual, taking Champagne Shuffle on this Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance brush um, that came with the palette. I am using um, it to highlight my cheekbones, but then just using my finger to highlight my nose. So going with the Shen XO palette, taking these two pink shades, the lighter one um, for the main lid tone, and using my lip to find a brush, but then going in with the Lucio shade and using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Lip Pro palette brush that it comes with, just to fill in that sharp, darker shade. For obviously all over my lips. Then I'm taking Justify My Love. I think that was Justify My Love. Either that or I'll blow with lovely blush tone from Nick Tutorials to obviously blush up my cheeks using my flawless finish sponge. Then holding a palette in front of my face just to make sure that the spray does not get into my eyes. Obviously spritzing down my face, blowing it off with 
air with my hand and that is them to complete a look so thank you all so much for watching and thank you to for inspiring me to do this I basically recopied everything she did but obviously using my own products I don't have every single product that she has so thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you soon ciao oh you thought I was done with the voiceover so I was going to straighten my hair for the sake of the thumbnail but then I decided you know what I'm sitting here I may as well film it while I'm at it so taking my VO5 heat protectant to obviously defend my hair against heat and I'm not using a very good brush I would more recommend a hairbrush or a comb and I mostly just focus on the ends of my hair because that's obviously the most part that has um you know still existing to which I did have my hair in braids but then I also had my hair in a ponytail as you saw in the earlier part of the video so I brushed my hair first and then I just straightened over so I pretty much did the same thing all throughout my hair just smoothing out the waves and the kinks as well as the back of it. So then I'm just running some coconut oil through the ends of my hair for extremely obvious reasons um, and just to nourish my hair as well and give it some shine. So once that is done, that is then my hair done. So that is now the end of the video. Ciao!